hello and welcome back everybody to another youtube video in today's video i will explain and solve problem set 6 score defy so in this problem we want to implement a program that reads uh, a csv file like this one here and this uh, file here is formatted as a name then a house and the name uh, is formatted as the last name comma and uh, the first name uh, then our program should uh, output this file in another format uh, like this one here so uh, we will add another column so it will be first then the last then house and we will uh, uh, rearrange the order of the name so we will make uh, the first name first and uh, the last name second then the house so let's first import sys and also import csv and let's, let's check if uh, the arguments are equal to three because in this uh, in this program uh, we will take uh, two command line arguments from the user uh, the file that we will uh, edit and uh, the name of the new file that we will uh, write uh, uh, the formatted uh, uh, style in it so this should equal to 3 and let's also check if the extension is C uh, csv so this returns a string uh, then we want to uh, slice this string uh, in order to take the last three characters and this should be csv okay now let's try and open uh, uh, our file which is the the first uh, the first uh, argument that the user will input which is the second in our list here in the sys.argv list and open it as file and let's store um, the data in variable called reader Not. so this file is open in uh, uh, read only mode uh, we don't have to specify it's uh, it's read only by default uh, but we need to uh, open another file so let's use with open again and this time we're going to open uh, the second command line argument that the user will provide and we will specify the mode and it was is gonna be uh, right so if there's uh, no file such as uh, there's no file uh, called whatever the user inputs uh, uh, as the second uh, command line argument uh, it will automatically uh, create a new one for us so we don't have to worry about that so let's call this file too and uh, make a variable called uh, writer uh, to write in uh, the file and it's going to be csv dot dict writer since we are using dictionaries or reading that the, the data as a dictionary so csv dict writer and let's pass in the name of the file that we're going to write in and we have to provide field names this parameter uh, is required so uh, our field names uh, we want them to be uh, these three columns so first last and house so let's write those here okay house and for order to uh, make these uh, uh, fields uh, the header of our file so it's uh, it's uh, output like this line here we should or we have to uh, write 
uh, right header. We have to use right header. So writer dot right header, and we don't have to pass any uh, parameters. Okay, right. Okay, sorry, this should be right header, not right header. So now uh, we have field names first, last, and house, and uh, this line uh, makes them uh, the first uh, line or the header in this file. So next, we want to write uh, these rows uh, in a new file, but uh, we have to uh, edit uh, those rows. So we want to take every row and uh, assign uh, a variable called first to this value here and uh, a variable called last uh, and assign it to this uh, variable uh, why are we doing this uh, because we want to uh, um, write uh, these rows in the correct format which is like this so you will see in a second what you are going to do so we are going to access every row in this uh, file so let's make a for loop for a row in a reader which has our uh, data uh, let's okay let's first uh, remove this uh, name so uh, we have a dictionary with uh, uh, two keys the name and the house but in this uh, formatted uh, a file we don't uh, see a name here so first we have to change the name key to first and add another key which is called last so in order to remove a key from a dictionary we will write a row and the new key which we which is first and it's going to be equal row which is our dictionary dot pop name so this line will just replace uh, the name uh, to key uh, to first so we have so here we have a dictionary with a with a, with name as the first key so this will be removed and replaced by first okay now we have only one step left in the keys which is to add this key here but first let's assign last and first uh, names okay let's be more descriptive so last name first name is going to be equal row first and dot split and i will explain in a second and we're going to split according to or uh, whenever we see a comma and a space so here we are accessing uh, the value of uh, the key first which is uh, in each row is this name the full name and we are splitting this string uh, whenever we see a comma and a space like here and we are assigning uh, last name to the first thing we are going to get from this split which is this name and we are assigning f uh, first name to the second thing we are going for we, we are getting from splitting the string so after this uh, we want to edit uh, our dictionary so let's make uh, first or let's reassign our first uh, key or first value to uh, the first name so this is going to be equal first uh, name so we are here we here we are here accessing the value of this key which is first and assigning this uh, key or this uh, value of this key to first name and let's do the same step for uh, second name or last name and uh, let's type the key which is going to be equal to last going to be equal last name so if you notice we don't have uh, a key called uh, last here so whenever uh, you assign 
or do something like that, uh, assign a value to a key which is which, which doesn't exist, it will create a, a new key f uh, for you automatically. So now after these four uh, lines of code, uh, we have uh, two uh, uh, two keys, uh, which is first and the last. Uh, the first will uh, store the first name, and the last will store the last name. And the house uh, will not be uh, uh, changed because there is no need. And after editing uh, our row, let's write it into our uh, new file. So we're going to use writer and use a method called write row and pass in whatever we want to uh, write in our uh, file. So let's um, let's add the exception, which is uh, file not found error. And if that's the case, we want to exit. And let's uh, let's output a message just like uh, the problem uh, set uh, tells. So. We should write could not read and the name of the file. So that's why I'm using if string or uh, uh, formatting our string here. So here we should pass in uh, the second uh, argument in this list, which is the first argument that the user provides, which is the the file we are trying to read from. So I think uh, something is oh yeah okay let's also handle if uh, the extension is not CSV so else we also will exit and uh, type not uh, CSV file okay before uh, going on let's actually test if our code is working. And Python, let's uh, uh, pass in our file before the CSV. And uh, okay, let's actually remove everything here just in order to see the changes. And after the CSV, okay, and hope hopefully this works. So let's uh, reopen our uh, after the CSV file, and as you can see. Uh, the format is right. We have uh, three uh, uh, columns: first, last, and house. And uh, we rearranged the name. So the fir the first name is first, then the last name. And you can see the, f the difference when I switch back to this file before the CSV. So as you can see, the first name here is first, and so on. And the house was not changed. So that's uh, that's working. Uh, now what's left is to uh, print some messages in case of some errors, just the usual. So here let's uh, check if there's too, f too few command line arguments. So if the length of uh, the arguments are less than three, we should exit uh, with a message telling the user that uh, there's too few command line arguments and let's copy this two lines of code and the same goes for more than three uh, arguments that's too many and I think uh, our program is now ready okay let's now test if we are really catching these uh, errors so let's uh, provide uh, three command line arguments dot any okay too many let's test if it's uh, too few okay that's working yeah and uh, the last example here uh, if the user uh, yeah the extent if the extension is not csv it's actually not the last uh, example we will also check uh, if the file is uh, 
it exists. So first, let's remove the extension. Okay, <laughs> let me open the door first. Okay, let's uh, let's try now. So this should uh, okay, this should output uh, file not found error, but we will have to add the uh, second argument. So let's write this. Okay, not a CSV file. Yeah, we checked for this, and now we will check for this one. Uh, when we try to input or type a file that doesn't exist. So before by or not before by this will uh, output the same message as before. Uh, let's uh, type test.csv for example. Okay, couldn't read. So the reason uh, that we are getting an error uh, like that we we couldn't read this file is because here we are trying to uh, open uh, this file uh, in the mode uh, read only that's why we will get an error but here we will not get an error because if the file doesn't exist it will uh, create a new file uh, for us so i think uh, that was it so yeah that's uh, the end of today's video Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and see you next time.